Good morning, student. Today, in class six, we are going to start new chapter. That is chapter number five, understanding elementary shape. A student of all of us seen many type of the shape in our surrounding. The shapes are corner, is plane, open cup, closed cup that are present in our surrounding. And we have recognized this shape into line segment, angle, triangle, polygon, and circle. These shapes have different size. And measure. So we have to today we have uh, to study about the how to measure the this line segment, angle, triangle, polygon, or circle. So first of all, we will measure the line. So measuring line segment, how we will measure the line segment? Measuring line segment, we have drawn and seen ma so many line segment. A triangle is made of three line segment, quadrilateral of four line segment. So a line segment is a fixed portion of a line, and we measure it with a unique number that is known as the length so to measure a line segment we use length as unique number so we use this idea to compare the line segment line segment and to compare any two line segment we find relations between their length this can be done by several ways So comparing, first of all, uh, how we will compare, Com comparison by observations. Here you can see, we have drawn, there is two line segment A, B and C, D. So A, B is greater than C, B. Their length is longer compared to C, B. So it is easy. But we cannot compare last one that you can see in lower portion which one is greater uh, which one has greater length so we will find a difficulty here now next one you can see here how you will measure the length here Two line segment AB and PQR are perpendicular to each other. That is that they are drawn on perpendicular manner. One line is a horizontal one and other one is a, a perpendicular one. That is vertical one. The two line segment have the same length. But it will face problem to compare these two lines. So we should have better method of comparing the line segment you will not able to measure the line segment which one you can't say which one is greater a b or p q now comparing with by tracing so we can also compare by tracing if we want to compare a b by c d then we will trace one on tracing paper and uh, we will put on the AB and then compare which one is greater. So AB will greater by tracing. But for measuring the length, you will have to trace more and more time. That is you will have to trace uh, when you want to measure anything, uh, the length of any line, your line segment, then you will have to measure uh, you will have to trace on paper always so it will be a tedious work 
for lessening the length of the triangle, length of the quadrant, length of the square. So how you will trust always for comparing the length? So it one is also a difficult one. So not tracing. Third one is comparing using ruler and divider. Where uh, you know that ruler that is in, in your instrument box, there is a ruler that upper one that you can see that is the divided in uh, 15 centimeter and lower one is the uh, inch. So we measure in centimeter. So upper one is in centimeter and each centimeter is divided in 10 uh, part that is known as the millimeter. And 1 millimeter equal to 0 0.1 centimeter, 2 mm equal to 0 0.2 centimeter and so on. So 2.3 centimeter will means 2 centimeter and 3 millimeter. By this method, by the scale we can measure. But we will face also problem here. What problem? When you put the scale on your uh, length, that is the line segment, to which you want to measure we should have better view it should be vertically upon uh, our eyes should be vertically on the uh, uh, number which the length we are measuring but we if you measure from the side way you will get wrong measurement so it is also we will get error in this one also so it is best way to compare with divider that is the you have uh, ruler and divider you will measure the length of the uh, uh, length of a line segment by the divider putting the uh, divider on point a and point b and then uh, taking that divider on the ruler and then you compare the line segment then you will get the accurate measurement so this is the uh, um, method for measuring the line segment length of a line segment in this chapter in we have started for measuring the line segment of the this chapter so how to measure the line segment we have learned that is it is a better way for measure a line segment with the help of divider and the ruler other method that by observation we will find that it is very difficult for uh, by observing a line segment and then see which one is uh, greater. Uh, second one comparing by the tracing it is also a difficult one. Third one was the uh, by comparing the ruler uh, you will get uh, somewhat error in measuring by ruler as you will put the ruler on the line segment when you will observe from the right or left side then you will get wrong measurement and that is better way is to measure with the help of the divider and the ruler and you will put that divider on the two point and then by taking that divider on the ruler you will measure the length of the line segment thank you for today class next class we will solve the problem of this chapter